This semester, I had the amazing opportunity to shadow Mr. David alongside his amazing assistant teachers in the giraffes classroom with preschool children from the ages three to five years old. The first activity I chose to do with the children was to play a game of red light, green light. First, I had the children line up against the fence to ensure that they were listening to me as I was explaining the rules of the game, which are to run when the leader shouts green light, walk when the leader shouts yellow light, and stop when the leader shouts red light. After I explained the rules, I modeled what it would look like to be the leader for the first round of the game. While explaining the rules, I had told the children that they will have the opportunity to become the leader once they touch the leader first. Since I was outside on the playground for the majority of my lab, I noticed that the children were interested in running around, such as playing games like tag. I chose this activity because I wanted to incorporate their interest of running around and releasing their energy in my activity. This activity reflects the first anti-bias education goal of identity, as the activity demonstrates self-awareness as the children are listening to the directions of the leader and controlling their body movement, as well as instilling confidence when the child has the opportunity to become the leader. The two DRDP goals I chose to focus on for this activity was perceptual motor skills and movement concepts, as well as responsiveness to language. The goal of the DRDP skill I chose to focus on is that the child is able to move their body and interact with their environment, demonstrating increasing awareness of their own physical effort, body awareness, spatial awareness, and directional awareness. In the activity, children will increase their directional awareness and physical effort as they will have to run towards their leader or their target while utilizing different speeds. The second DRDP goal I chose to focus on is responsiveness to language in which children will communicate or act in response to language. In this activity, the children will have to listen carefully to the leader in order to respond appropriately, like running when the leader yells green light. The second activity I chose to do was hopscotch. I allowed the children to help me construct the hopscotch with me out of chalk. I then lined them up against the wall to demonstrate how to use it correctly while putting an emphasis on taking turns. I chose to do this activity because I wanted to keep the children active as I was outside for most of my lab and I knew they wanted to keep their bodies moving. This time, I really wanted to build on their taking turns abilities and made sure to emphasize that during this activity. I felt the children really enjoyed helping me draw out the hopscotch as they were able to express their creative abilities. The pillar of anti-bias education I wanted to touch on for this activity was justice. I wanted to ensure that this activity was going to be fair for all of the children unlike my previous activity where I had run into fairness issues. The two DRDP goals I chose to focus on for this activity were active physical play and imitation. The goal of active physical play is to ensure children are engaged in physical activities with increasing endurance and intensity. In the activity, the children are supposed to switch between hopping with one leg and hopping with two legs. For some children, this may come naturally, but for others, this intensity could be slightly difficult. The goal of imitation is for the child to be able to mirror, repeat, and practice the actions or words of others in increasingly complex ways. In the activity, the children are supposed to model after me and their peers. The children will attempt to imitate what they see to their best ability. Like I mentioned before, it could be easier for some children and more difficult for others based on their age and developmental abilities. The two teaching strategies I utilize in my activities were demonstrate and encourage. The purpose of the teaching strategy demonstrate is to show the correct way to do something. I was able to utilize this teaching strategy in both of my activities. I was able to model the correct way to be the leader in red light, green light, and demonstrate how to correctly use hopscotch. This set an example for the children to follow in my activities. The purpose of the teaching strategy encourages to encourage persistence and effort rather than praising. I was also able to apply the teaching strategy of encourage in both of my activities. In my first activity, I had to encourage the children to keep on persisting in order to achieve the leader role. In addition to this, I also had to encourage the younger children who were not as physically developed to keep on trying to hop on one leg rather than two. The biggest takeaway from this experience is that every child is different. Mr. David calls it meeting a child where they're at. This taught me that I may need to switch how I may talk to a certain child versus another. This is something that I will keep in mind as I take further steps in this career.
Another thing I learned about teaching is that these children are not here to be bombarded by school. Instead, our purpose here is to ensure that the children are growing socially and emotionally. This changed my perspective in the classroom and I will remember to be a source of support and comfort for these children instead of a teacher. The last thing that I learned is that the children will always be excited. I was worried the children were not going to enjoy my activities, but they were always excited nonetheless, even if it was short-lived. I will remember this in my future steps that the children are not as judgmental as I thought.